Hi guys and welcome to U-Wrench. In today's video we're going to show you how to make your own brake bleeder tool. There's no need to spend big money on a big name brand tool as you can make your own in 10 to 15 minutes for just two to three dollars. All you need is an empty soda bottle and a length of clear tubing which you can buy from any hardware store for only a few cents per foot and three feet should be plenty. If you're unsure what size pipe to buy most bleeder valves are one quarter inch so a pipe with a one quarter inch inside diameter is a great all-round choice. So before you start wash out your soda bottle and leave it upturned overnight to completely dry out. Then take the lid of the bottle and drill a hole the same size as the outer diameter of your pipe. Then drill a second smaller hole to the side which will act as a bleeder so that the air is displaced and pushed out of the bottle when the brake fluid starts to fill the bottle up. Next, simply feed the tube through the hole in the lid. Note that the end of the tube should sit at the lowest point of the bottle. Our bottle has dimples on the bottom, so the lowest point for us will be at the base of one of these dimples. Next, it's a really good idea to make a hanging handle for your bottle. We'll do this by simply using cable ties. This is a really handy feature as it enables you to hang the bottle on or around the brake area rather than having to sit it on the floor. To do this, simply chain together two cable ties and pull one so it's nice and tight around the neck of the bottle and leave the other as an open loop. Then just snip off the ends to make it nice and tidy. One hanging handle ready to go. And that's it, it's that simple. You've now made your own brake bleeding tool. We're producing a full video on how to bleed your brakes, which includes the use of this exact tool that we've made here today. We'll add a link for you in the information section below this video on YouTube if you'd like to check that out. But the basic process is pretty simple and will help illustrate how this tool is used. First of all, you must place a little unused brake fluid into the bottom of your bottle. We're putting in more than you need uh, for the sake of our illustration. Half this amount will be more than enough. The reason for this is that when you pump the brake pedal, it will push the brake fluid out. And when you release the pedal, it will slightly suck fluid back in from the bottle. If it were air in the bottle, then it could suck air back into your brake lines. So adding some fluid in the bottom first helps prevent this. Next, find a convenient place to hang your bottle from and secure it there with a cable tie. Next, place a suitable size spanner over the brake bleed nipple and attach your pipe. Then slowly start to pump the brakes. At first, you'll get the air expelled from the pipe and then you'll see the brake bleed tool working and the old fluid being fed slowly into the bottle with each pump of the pedal. Remember, we've produced an in-depth video on the full brake bleed process and we'll have a link for you in the information section below this video. So if you need any help or just want any more information, be sure to check that video out before undertaking your brake job. We hope you found this video useful. If so, please be sure to support us here at U-Wrench by firstly liking our videos and then also being sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on another video.